Hi everybody, Nash from My Daily Planners here. I was due to show you our vertical versions of digital planners with reminders. So far I use only horizontal ones. You can check their videos here. And I wanted to use this opportunity to compare a planner with Google links to one with Apple links, side by side. The one with Google links uses Google Calendar's feature for setting reminders, so you're required to have that app but not to use it or to know anything special regarding it. On the other side, the one with Apple links uses Apple Calendar and Shortcuts app, which are both native apps that come with every iPad, iPhone, Mac and watch. If you want to see how to precisely set up each of these planners, check the links in the description, as in this video I will only compare these two. More precisely, we will compare all the four features that these planners with reminders have, starting with hourly reminder. I will go to today's date, October 10th, and let's set a meeting for both planners at 3 p.m. Copy the writing. Now when I click on 3 p.m. on Google Planner, the Google Calendar will pop up with precise date and time already set in. The only thing I need to do is to paste a title. Optional is to set the time when you want to be reminded. I will set it to be at uh, time of the event and click save. Now let's click on 3 p.m. on Apple and Apple calendar event window is popping up also with precise date and time already set in. Again paste the title, check the alarm time if you wish I will set it at time of event and click add. Easy. Ok, I will get back to you once notifications for reminders are up. Both iPads are showing notifications that we set through digital planners, one in Google Calendar, the other in Apple Calendar. Now let's compare the all the event features on both. I'm on weekly page where we have all these clock icons for each day, which represents all day events. Note that if you want to have hourly reminders for weekly pages, you need to go to schedule and you can set hourly reminders in the same way as in a daily page. But for now, let's go back to week and all day events. All day event is an event that you need to do during the day, but without a specific time, your to-do list, like going to dry cleaning or use it to simply remind yourself about some event, like someone's birthday, etc. I will write simply test on both. Copy this. And now when I click on clock icon on Google Planner, Google Calendar is popping up with all day event already set in. Paste the title. And I will leave the window open for a bit. Now let's do that on Apple Planner. Apple Calendar event window is popping up, again with all day event set in. Paste the title. And here are some differences between the planners. 
On Google Planner, event window popped up on side, like a floating window, while on Apple Planner it popped in the middle. Apple Planner is always showing the event window like this, while on Google version there are two options. I will close the event window and separate Google Calendar app like this. Go back to Good Notes and now when I click on clock icon again, event window is popping up in the middle. If you prefer to get event window as a floating window, you need to drag Google Calendar app like this slide it and now you will get floating event window each time this is not possible with the apple version as it will always show the event window in the middle no matter what you do let's click save and add to record these events. Both planners have daily, weekly and monthly previews of all your scheduled events. Icons for this are G and Apple on top of each page. And daily previews are quite similar. But things are different for weekly and monthly previews. The Apple version will automatically open Apple Calendar in full screen, but you will need to click manually on week or month to get a proper preview. And Google version will automatically open corresponding page, your week or month, but if you previously set Google Calendar app as a floating window, then you will need to manually expand the app to see better. These limitations are set by apps and iOS, so we hope that we will be able to improve this feature in the future. Now let's check the last feature, the agenda preview. As before, Google Planner will show you your upcoming events on the side as a list, and if you choose like this, that is, if Google Calendar app is opened as a floating window, while Apple Planner will always open agenda as a list on top. Not that clear always, but this is just how Agenda Preview works with Apple Calendar. You can click on any event you wish and it will open on site. And that's it guys, these are the differences between Google and Apple planners. Let me know in comments below which one you prefer, contact me if you have any additional questions and if you liked this video, hit the like button as that will help us to reach others who would find these planners useful. Or subscribe, that helps too. Ciao!